Hey guys, this is Steve Huff at stevehuffphoto.com. I'm here today with a table full of brand new goodies that arrived in my house this week. First up, I have a bunch of new gear from Holdfast Gear. Now, the guy who runs this uh, company, Matthew Swaggart, has come up with all kinds of cool designs for bags, pouches, and this is what uh, he's basically known for is this moneymaker strap system which I reviewed previously. Now this allows you to have up to three cameras on you at any one given time. You really don't feel the pressure of a usual strap and they hang right at your arm's length so you can slide them up and shoot. It's an amazing system. And now he's released all of these bags and pouches that are basically, they connect to the moneymaker belt system so you can have this bag behind you full of lenses you can have individual lens pouches attached here for example it's a modular system so if I wanted to hook up one of the pouches here bear with me here I'm just doing this for the first time you basically would hook them up through these like so you snap it and then you have a lens pouch on top of the bag, but the bag itself is a bag designed to hold three or four lenses. So you have lenses in here, you can have a lens here, look at this big monster, if you have like a 70 to 200 uh, Canon or Nikon Sigma, one of those, it'll fit in there, and you can keep everything on your back on the moneymaker strap, so you don't have these big bags on your shoulders, the weight is distributed evenly, and um, even got a little pouch here. That can go on right there. So you can add pouches all over this thing. It's really cool. In the back you have um, basically a pocket that you can throw in probably a full-size iPad, possibly a MacBook Air. Uh, the inside is plush uh, to hold your lenses. You have full quality all the way. Uh, this is quality leather handmade in the USA from Holdfast Gear and Matthew Swagger. This is all part of the moneymaker system and I think the reason it's called the moneymaker system is because a lot of wedding pros use this system and if I was out all day shooting a wedding and reception this would be a godsend to me because I'd have all my cameras, all my lenses comfortably on me. Sort of like a backpack but even more comfortable than a backpack and more accessible because you don't have to take it off to reach in. So if you're interested in taking a look at the full moneymaker money maker system from Holdfast Gear, be sure you go to holdfastgear.com. Now Matthew Swaggart and Holdfast Gear are a site sponsor and I asked them if they would be a site sponsor. These days I get so many people wanting to advertise on stevehuffphoto.com that I don't take advertisement unless I like the product. So what I like to do is approach companies where I like their products, I like what they're doing, and I ask them if they would like to advertise, and I give them a really good rate. Um, and this is one product line, one guy, one company that I really like what he's doing, uh, like with the All Made in America. Look at this. You have this quality wallet here that'll hold all kinds of things. Um, and this will also attach to the money maker system so you can keep like money credit cards phone personal items in this wallet and you can also hook it onto the bag itself so it's not going to go anywhere but once it's hooked onto this system it's not going anywhere it all will stay here um, as a matter of fact I'm gonna hook up some of this stuff right now and show you what it looks like all on the bag so I'm gonna pause the video right now so I can do that all right, so basically all I did was attach three of these on onto the bag, so you just get an idea. You can pick and choose whatever you like. Since I'm not a guy who uses big fat zooms, I won't go out with these, but if you carry a big zoom or a big lens, you can attach these to the system. So you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this uh, money maker system from Holdfast Gear. You got your lens pouches. This is even a phone pouch right here. I didn't button it there, but you can add put your phone in this pocket so you have your phone your wallet goods your small lenses three lenses in the bag all attached to the money maker strap which also will hold up to three cameras and have them available at the ready so again take a look at holdfastgear.com 
if you're interested in any of their products. I also reviewed their Romographer series, their big Romographer bag, and I also have the Romographer Mini. So I love Holdfast Gear. I love what they do. They make some top-notch products. So um, if you're someone who, like I said, has a DSLR system, uses a lot of lenses, even a mirrorless system with a lot of lenses, you can configure a system maybe with the bag and two little pouches. So you can throw in a couple Leicas, some lenses, you have it all ready to go. Um, you're actually, your Leica would be on the strap. So it's a great system. Um, depends on your needs and your wants, but check it out at holdfastgear.com. Okay, so what else is new? We have the Olympus EM10 Mark II that just arrived a couple days ago to me and Olympus also sent the new 7 to 14 ultra wide f2.8 zoom. As you can see, the lens looks huge, but the camera is small. So keep in mind that the EM10 II will fit in the palm of your hand like so. So it's a very small camera. Uh, the lens is a little heavy, makes it front heavy a little bit, but it's a stunning, stunning lens. I've already tested it for just maybe 20 shots, and I could already tell that for if you're a Micro Four Thirds user and you want the best ultra wide lens possible, this is it. And in my opinion, I used to own the Panasonic 7 to 14, which was an F4. Um, this beats it um, handily. So this is the Pro line from Olympus. And um, if you like wide angle, this is it. Video with this is also phenomenal. Um, I would love to shoot video with this lens. And as, as a matter of fact, I'm going to. Uh, this weekend, so um, I'll include that in my full review, but I just wanted to give you guys a look at the Olympus EM10. As you can see, they raised the dials, which I love because it makes it easier to change with your fingers. They're right there by your thumb and in even this dial, it sticks up. So that makes it easier to um, change all your settings. The on and off button is now a dial, it's a little different. And we now have five axis image stabilization inside the EM10. So this is Olympus's best image stabilization that they offer and it's in the EM10 II. Uh, you also get it in the EM5 II and also the EM1. So along the whole Olympus line uh, of the OMD line, you get the five axis image stabilization. So all in all, so far from what I've seen of this combo, it's stunning. Um, again, if you like wide angle, this is the deal right here. Uh, they also released that 8mm fisheye, which I also had for a week or so and I really enjoyed. But if you're going to go to a fisheye that costs a thousand bucks, why not spend the extra 200 and just go for the 7 to 14, unless you specifically want the fisheye distortion. So look for my review of the EM10 II from Olympus, which will be coming up within the next week or two. I'd say 10 days or so. Uh, also, what has come in is the gorgeous and beautiful. Voigtlander 35mm f1.7 Ultron lens right here. Now this is Leica mount, but using my handy dandy Voigtlander Leica M to Sony E converter, I can use this lens on the full frame Sony a7R2. And let me tell you, this lens is gorgeous on the a7R2. I have yet to try it on the Leica M, but hopefully I will be able to for my review. Um, this looks almost similar to the Voigtlander 50 f1.5 Nocton that I raved about and many users rave about and reviewers rave about. As a matter of fact, that 50 came scarily close to the Leica 50 Sumilux Aspherical. So when I put this guy on the camera, to tell you the truth, I wasn't excited about this lens. For some reason, I thought it was going to be subpar, but as soon as I put it on the Sony and took two or three pictures, boom! it hit me with that nice organic rendering, beautiful out of focus background quality. You have that fast F17 aperture. You have the uh, metal build. It looks gorgeous in chrome. And there is a new hood coming to me from Camera Quest. Stephen Gandy from CameraQuest.com sent me this to review. And he sent me a really cool vintage chrome hood, uh, which should get here today because he wanted me to review it with the hood as well to show you that option, that's an option for this lens. So me personally, I would buy this lens in a nanosecond and that's just for me feeling it, putting it on the camera and taking off a few shots. There's no colored edges, 
There's no vignetting, or there might be slight vignetting, but it's not anything out of the ordinary. And I didn't see any softness in the corners. Um, if you shoot this lens wide open, you're going to be rewarded with probably one of Voigtlander's best 35 millimeters yet. Now they have the 35 millimeter F1.2 Nocton, which goes faster at F1.2, but it's a lot larger and it's softer. It's not going to give you the same performance. This gives you that same rendering of the 50 F1.5 almost, but even maybe a little better. So I have more shooting to do with this lens. So over the next week or two, I'll be shooting with it and I will be doing a full review. And I will also hopefully be comparing it to the Zeiss 35 F1.4 ZM lens, which goes for around 2,300 bucks. Uh, this lens goes for about 900 or so, or a thousand. It's around 900, I think. So you're looking at less than half the cost of the Zeiss. So if it can match or come really close to the Zeiss, this would be the no-brainer deal of the year for those who like manual focus M-mount style lenses on your full-frame Sony A7s. Now with the new A7R2, you have mostly all of those issues when using wider angle Leica lenses are gone. You still have with lenses like the 28 Summicron, you still get some soft corners when you stop down the aperture. Um, but with a lens like this, that it doesn't matter because if you buy this lens, you're gonna wanna shoot it wide open or close to it most of the time. That's where you get that magic rendering. That's where you get that look we all crave and love. And I gotta tell you, looking at those first few samples, this is a beauty. So keep an eye on stifaphoto.com. I will be posting the full review of the Ultron from Voigtlander, the 35 F1.7. So this Voigtlander 35 Ultron comes from CameraQuest.com. Stephen Gandy, he is the main Voigtlander guy in the United States you wanna to go to if you're interested in Voigtlander. So be sure to check out CameraQuest.com and check out their shopping cart page which has all their products, including this brand new, just started shipping 35.17. So look for that review soon. Look for the Olympus EM10 Mark II review with the 7-14 very soon. These are the next two reviews that I'm working on right now. So I wanted to give you guys an update. It's New Gear Friday. I had all of this collecting all week. The UPS man was working full time over here. So thanks everybody for watching. If you like this video, subscribe and thumbs up if you can. The more subscribers I get here at Steve Photo, the more videos I will do. So um, actually what's really cool is over the next month or two, I'm going to be adding um, another light, some lighting, and I'm gonna be making my videos a little more better in the um, lighting department because I know they've lacked there many times. So thanks for watching, and always check back to stifaphoto.com for news, reviews, daily inspirations, quick shots, and all kinds of stuff related to photography. See you there.